Yo, everyone, I have returned. Has anyone seen the very first video of the day? If not, smash that bell. And of course, you will get notification from YouTube. And don't worry, I'll discuss my social media accounts when this video is completely over. Thank you. Anywho, I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some to eat, or grab some to drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Once again, there will be a link. Here goes nothing. Now everyone knows that Seth Rollins it was dealing with a lot of injuries before Mania. Okay, he sucked it up the best he can to have a match at Mania. Not just once, twice. He did a double duty. So this guy is the GOAT of all GOATs in today's modern era. Bar none. If you hate my opinion, sorry. Now, we all know that he lost the title. He will get his title back eventually. But his wife confirmed that this past Tuesday, he had knee surgery. So, there you go. That's why, in my theory, he lost the title at Mania. Because what's the point... Of he's going to retain it if he's going to have surgery. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion on the matter. Okay? Now, listen to this. Seth Rollins underwent surgery on his knee earlier this week. It was Tuesday. Because the video down below, if you guys and gals are curious. I guess she's on a talk show. I never heard this talk show before. Probably a very late night. Back in January, we reported that Rollins suffered an injury. I'm just going to say that. A tear and all that other stuff. I'm not reporting it. This article is. So, of course, he's, like I said, he sucked it up. And he just did not perform before Mania. Because I can imagine if he did perform on that Raw. This whole entire time, and then like a brawl, major brawl before Mania, his match with with um, Cody team up, that will be in jeopardy. And of course, his match with McIntyre, that will be in jeopardy. And then of course, once again, they'll be probably have to make arrangements because Seth Rollins will be not be able to compete in Mania. But everything will work out for him. He's a fighting champion. You know? Now the question is. Why he didn't take care of this kind of injury. Way before Mania. You know if it happened back in January. He should have done this. After the Royal Rumble. Maybe he's thinking. That if I, if I had this kind of surgery. After a Rumble. There's a good chance. I might be out a very long time. That means I'm going to miss. WrestleMania 40. So he sucked it up and then he had it after WrestleMania. I have no clue when he's re his return. And probably he don't know. He's got to go to rehab. He's got to go to his pe his professional doctor specialist. Then he got to go to his W doctor. Then he got to go back and check out um, his own personal doctor. That's how it works. And then got to go back Again, to the dirty doctor to clear him to make him he could compete again. I think that's how it works. You guys get the drift, you know. This guy has so many injuries in wrestling, you know. That's not a, a good thing. I think that's a bad thing of putting it on your body online all the damn time. But he wants to entertain the fans. I am not ripping him, okay, because he's a Bears fan like myself. I know they suck, but whatever. But um, now we spend time with his kids, if you can. And, you know, 
he'd be perfectly fine, Seth Rollins fans. Okay? He is the best doctors out there. He's the best medicine. He will dominate and take the title like he never lost it. The question is, will he still be remaining on Raw when the draft is all said and done, or will they ship him back to SmackDown? My guess is he's going to remain on Raw to compete some new rivalries. Whoever is going to stay on Raw or have a new fresh face, I have no idea. You know, I don't know if he's going to have the same gimmick when he returns or a brand new gimmick. Maybe he's going to say, you know what, it's time for you to go back as a heel run. Maybe, maybe not. Is this guy, no disrespect, he's 10 times better as a heel than a baby face. You can't take this guy seriously as a baby face. You know, I thought, like other people thought, he's going to turn on Cody. Nope. Cody finished his story. But I think in the future, we will see Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins will continue that one on one rivalry. Because remember that one time um, when Corey Rhodes was going back to the locker room <clears throat> and Seth Rollins used a sledgehammer? I guaranteed Corey Rhodes did not forget about that moment. And they did not continue that until sooner than later. You know what I'm saying? These two guys had great chemistry, you know, hands down. You know, the question is will Corey Rhodes still be the champion? By the time Seth Rollins returns. Hmm. That is another question. It all depends on the fans. You know? So that's all I got to say. Follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. If you want to be part of our show, that's fine. Indiana. If not, don't worry about it. See you guys on Sunday's edition. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Peace out and stay safe, everyone. Thank you.